going on guys? It's Titanic Feet Jack. Welcome back to the grand finale of my top 15 countdown of 2022. Oh man, we had a lot of great sneakers that released this year. I revealed a ton of heat thus far in the countdown. Hope you enjoyed the countdown and the videos leading up to tonight's grand finale. Uh, Without further ado, I'm going to just get right into it. Coming in at number five, it's a collab sneaker and it's on the iconic silhouette. This silhouette been real big, doing numbers since the 1980s when it debuted. Uh, and it's a collab with a company out of Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, this company also had another sneaker that released very recently. It was some controversy behind the release. Yes, guys, I'm talking about concepts in the Air Max One Kalea. Yes, all three of them. Yes. These, the theme, the Woodstock theme, you can see the mud splatter on the midsole of the sneakers. The theme, the packaging, how it was rolled out, all that was clutch. And once yet, one sneaker may be way cleaner than the other in some opinion, but the whole pack is dope to me. Very clean. The Concepts Air Max 1. Yes, all three of them, guys. I won two of the three. Man, these things is nice, guys. With the Nike Air on the back, I won two of the three, I think. Let me see. This is the only pair I have not worn yet, but uh, yes, these are fire. Dope concept. I like the roll out back when Woodstock and Willie Nelson was smoking on them trees. Willie probably still somewhere smoking some trees, but these are the sneakers. The number five on the countdown. Yes, guys, and also at number five, yes, I have a tie at number five. I just couldn't leave this sneaker off the countdown or out of my top five, I should say, but uh, on the resale market, the sneaker isn't doing much of nothing, but that doesn't disqualify this sneaker from a top five sneaker in my pickup uh, of 2022. The materials on it is dope. We've had a major collab came out that looks identical to this shoe, and the only difference is, is that branding from that collab on the rear heel of the sneaker. I'm talking about the Air Jordan Retro 1, the yellow toe, the taxi, whatever you call it. The materials are real good. I got me a good pair. Look how tumble it is on the quarter panel. I mean, the toe box. Oh my goodness. I can't say enough about this sneaker. It's, it's very good quality materials that I have on this pair. I mean, it was double up worthy. Yes, I did double up on it. Uh, I mean, real good sneaker. The Air Jordan 1 Taxi is also the number five sneaker on my countdown of 2022. The number four sneaker on the countdown. Man, this sneaker got a lot of hype behind it. A lot of people saying it's their sneaker of the year. It's a, a sort of a retro, but they put a little twist to it. We talking about none other than the Air Jordan Retro 1 Lost and Found. Yes, in a Chicago colorway. Yes, and it's fully laced up because I rocked these already. To go see one of the best singers in the uh, world. He's he's one, he's my top singer. I went to see Bobby Brown in concert when he was here for Monica, with Monica and the friends. So yeah, the dirt on the bottom is real. I wore these to go see old Bobby Brown, the real king of R&B. So I had to bring out the big guns when I went to see Bobby, cause I was ready to perform when Bobby got tired. But this is the number four sneaker on the countdown, the Air Jordan Retro 1 Reimagined in the Chicago colorway. Okay, guys, we getting down to the nitty gritty. We got the last three. Uh, number three sneaker. Uh, it's a very good story behind it. The story was uh from the year 1992. That was a good year. Your boy was doing big things in high school. Uh, 
It was over, uh, I mean, overseas, not a popular silhouette. We just gonna bring it out. The Air Jordan Retro 7 Trophy Room. Yes, uh, very clean sneaker. There's a new sheriff in town. That was what Michael told Magic and Larry after beating their butts in that pickup game in the famous the uh, blue and white basketball game. Uh, the teams were divided and uh, if you saw my video on this, you can see who the teams, who were on teams. But uh, you got Mike's signature right here on the on the lateral heel. The materials of quality, one day, it's a playoff of the Olympic uh, sevens, but uh, they put a little twist to it with the red on here. But these are dope. Fire, you got the gold on here, the ribbon right here on the, uh, the pull tab represents the ribbon that uh, they won and you can see this is Mike's Olympic number number nine on the other sneaker there is uh, the trophy rooms logo which is Jordan Sun store down there in Orlando and hopefully I get to check out his new location like I did the old one but this is the number three sneaker the Air Jordan retro seven trophy room there's a new sheriff in town the number two sneaker on the countdown is also a collab. The brand, uh, it's been making a lot of noise, a lot of headlines lately. They've been coming out with some heat, mainly with collabs. Not sure a lot of people rock with this brand, but uh, when I saw this sneaker was coming out, it came in a pack. And the sneaker we about to take a look at, it, it really got my attention, guys. And I had to have it in come my collection. If you've been following my channel, I had a little mishap in obtaining this sneaker, but I finally got it. I got it right. I'm talking about the Joe Fresh Goods New Balance 993, the uh, performance art pack in the color of powder pink. The materials are very uh, good on here as well. Top notch New Balance seems to never let me down when it comes to sneakers. Uh, with the materials these are real good very comfortable shoes they pass the look test of course and my god oh that new sneaker smell man this is good bro the pot of paint they also came out in like a a, a blue and a, a sage green colorway but the number two sneaker on the countdown is the joe fresh goods New Balance 993 Performance Art in that powder pink colorway. Okay, guys, what's left? Nah, I'm just kidding. Number one sneaker, uh, this sneaker, man. I really love this sneaker. It's a uh a Jordan brand athlete sneaker. Uh yes, it is a Jordan. And it's just wow. It speaks to the culture where I'm here. Where I'm reside down here in Louisiana, uh, the materials on the shoe is dope. It has some features on the sneaker that I've never seen before on the sneaker. It is wild. It's themed from the number one draft pick of my New Orleans Pelicans, baby. I'm talking about the the George One Lord Zion OZ, the Voodoo, baby. Yes, that Voodoo doll right there, the burlap material. Man, if this was a Travis Scott, this would be getting a whole lot of buzz, but it's not. I mean, I'm used to it being down here from the South. We got to work extra hard for what we get, baby. So, I mean, this sneaker here, man, this is this is fire. I don't need nobody to tell me that it that it is. I see that for myself. This is like the best sneaker that came out this year. If it had a back with swoosh on here, the game definitely would change. And you can flip right here up and it says Zion or Voodoo right here. It says Voodoo. So the other sneaker, the right one says Zion. You got these laces they come with, the rope laces. Man, this sneaker is just off the chain, guys. I had to have it in the collection. It's like, again, the best sneaker that came out this year with the burlap material. You got new buck. It's like rawhide on the tongue. You got some nice soft uh, suede or new buck on the quarter panels. You got the sail midsole, the dirty bubble gum outsole. Man, the 
number one sneaker of 2022 in my countdown, the Air Jordan 1 Low Zion OG Z. That concludes my countdown. I thank you guys for tuning in with me and bearing with me through all the videos. Uh, about to go celebrate New Year's. We're almost in the New Year, so I hope you guys make it to the other side. Take care of your families. Uh, and I'll see you guys in 2023. But before I go, like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack signing out. Happy New Year!